Root Explorer by Speed Software is a top five app for Google Android's platform. If you aren't familiar with Root Explorer, it's a root file manager available in the Android Play Store for $3.99. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now, first thing you want to know about Root Explorer is that its functionality goes far beyond what you get with regular file managers. So there's various different root options and there's various different options in general for you root users that you don't find with average file managers. So what Speed Software has done is they've taken all of that, they've taken the experience and they've unified it into one file manager. So let me give you an example of what I mean here. So let's say you've lost data and you've rooted your phone to try to re uh, relocate that data. Now a lot of times with regular file managers there's certain folders that you can't access but not with Root Explorer. With Root Explorer you have access to every single folder and file system on your handset. So if there's something that you cannot locate it will be available in Root Explorer. With a little bit of research and just a little bit of wherewithal, you'll be able to find whatever it is that you felt you lost. So that's one of the benefits right off the bat. I've known people who have had download folders and pictures and all sorts of different files that they've needed that they've apparently thought they lost but have downloaded uh, Root Explorer and been able to locate it uh, somewhere on the device. So you can see right off the bat its interface is very simple, very user friendly. You have storage options so if you have a micro SD card slot uh, you'll have storage options right there. You have root options right here again you can go all the way back to your root folder because you do have root access. If you go down here to the three buttons below which is the settings you have preferences. So if you go into preferences you can see the various different options here. You have view mode, you can do simple list, detailed list and by icons. You have tab visibility whether you want the tabs to be always visible, always hidden or automatic and now you have themes which is really cool. So if we change this to say the light theme okay it says it'll take effect as soon as I go back so you can see the light theme now. Yeah, different so. themes as well. Light with dark action bar and home wallpaper. So let's try a home wallpaper. Go back. You can see now it utilizes the home wallpaper as the background. So that's a really cool feature. I think it's really great that, that that's an added touch because again it adds to the whole customization of Android in general. So if we go back to themes you can see or if we go back to settings you got icon set so you can do blue folders, yellow folders, orange folders and you can even customize that. So there's custom options there see the custom options. I can customize it as I so please. Uh, you got an option that allows you to see hidden files which again uh, can go all the way back to if you have thought you've lost files. They might just be hidden so you can locate hidden files, show image thumbnails, show friendly file sizes. You also have archive preferences in terms of a zip tar create folder, archive extract folder, general preferences, external SD path and you also have startup preferences as well. So quite a few options. Now again for a lot of people who have root you want a unified comprehensive file manager. It's very important that you have a unified comprehensive file manager because uh, there's a lot of different files and folders and things that you may need to locate and Root Explorer locates it for you with such uh, an emphasis on user friendliness. So you could see you could uh, sort folders by name, date, size, type, etc. Uh, you can add a folder, you can add a file, a root tab, a local storage tab, external SD tab to Google Drive, Box, Dropbox, Network. You could favorite a, a root folder. All right, you can also search for whatever it is that you're looking to search for. You have the again the the options uh, to sort by date, time, etc. Now, if I was to let's say go into build default.prop. All right, let's just hold down on it. I can go ahead and click on zip this file, which it'll zip it for me, view as text, which I can do that, and then permissions. So you can actually change the permission. It's gonna ask you whether you wanna give it access. Remember choice forever, allow, yes. And you can see right here, now I have options to read, to read, write, execute, to change uh, the owner group and other options. I have special permissions as well. So again, going back down to these folders, if I was to click on the checks right here, it says this is an executable script file. What action would you like to perform? Well, let's say we want to execute, right? All right, so it's executed now. And you can do this multiple files at a time or multiple folders at a time. You could click on them. You can cut them. You can copy them. You can move them wherever you'd like. All right, let's go ahead and just click on a few. Or you could zip them, which is really cool. You can, again, select all if you'd like. You could trash them. So there's a multitude of options. And that's the really great thing about Root Explorer, is that it gives you a multitude of options, but it gives them to you in a very user-friendly manner. Root Explorer by Speed Software is currently available in the Google Play Store for $3.99.